Good day. I've just started a new embroidery project. The design is from a Appenzeller Stickerei collection belonging to my embroidery teacher. The linen fabric, the light blue cotton thread and the stitches I'll use are all traditionally used for Appenzeller Stickerei. This type of embroidery is a type of white embroidery local to the area I'm living in. Before placing the first stitch, I thought about the best starting point. I considered the direction of embroidery of each line and should I have enough thread on the needle, will I be able to jump to the next line in as short a jump as possible. Most of this design will be embroidered with an underlay stitch covered with a sateen stitch or as we would call it here, Sprenge und Platte. When starting my embroidery, I hardly ever secure the thread with a knot. I always try to secure it under the area I'm embroidering. So in that case, the securing is the underlay stitch and it will be covered with the sateen stitch. A knot is visible. It has a thicker part and I just don't consider that pretty. As well, uh, when I first started this type of uh, embroidery, my teacher said, Good embroiderers don't use knots and even so at that time I was a beginner I was like challenge accepted and I never did knots with the underlay stitch I'm trying to create the illusion of the letter being written with a fountain pen with a white feather so the wider areas between the lines, I do a thicker underlay, meaning more stitches than in the more narrow areas. The satin stitches should be as close together as possible to cover the fabric completely. To maintain the stitch direction, which is in about a 90 degrees angle to the line, I can keep turning my hoop so that I always make the stitch straight down.
Once the thread gets too short to do the setting stitches comfortably, I secure it with a couple of underlay stitches again.